Well, that was so, oh, we were so excited about that. I mean, we, the reason we got, we, we, we kind of managed to get the tiny desk was we were invited to perform at the Carnegie Hall in, in New York. Again, it's like I've never played under my own name in America. So I hadn't been in America to perform since I toured with the Battlefield Band in 2000, 2001. And then we were invited by Roseanne Cash. Um, and Roseanne Cash um, ha has a big connection with Scotland because her, her father, or Johnny Cash, <laughs> um, his, his ancestors came from Scotland and there's a really close connection between the family and here. And um, Roseanne has been over to play at Celtic Connections Festival a number of times and knows a lot of musicians on the folk scene here. So I was amazed to get this email from Roseanne Cash saying I'm programming a festival um, on behalf of the city of New York at Carnegie Hall, do you want to come? And it was like, well, if you're, if you're going to go play in America and your first gig might as well be the Carnegie Hall. Yeah. <laughs> um, so I was totally delighted to be asked. And it was a, it was a series about migration so um, she was interested in the in the kind of Scottish diaspora and the, and the movement of people between Scotland and England and Ireland and the States. So when we got that gig, um, yeah, we had, we'd heard that one of the producers for Tiny Desk was interested previously and she'd sort of said, if you're ever in America, you know, give us a shout. And, and the chances of going to America were zero. So when we got the, the New York um, gig, um, we followed that connection up and uh, were amazed to get offered a session. So it was a very pit stop journey, um, arriving into New York one day, taking the train to Washington DC the next day, doing the session, literally having enough time to do the session and then hopping on the train back to New York for the gig at Carnegie Hall the next day. But it was a complete treat, honestly, that that studio there um, is one of the happiest most positive working environments you'll ever step into in your life. It was just full of people who love their jobs and look healthy and like, ah, oh, it was just, it was such an inspiring workplace to be in. Just absolutely delighted to be part of that.